Hey guys, how's everyone doing tonight? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. I um, was asked by a company, uh, Maphead, to do a product review. They have a whole bunch of new products that came out um, and I figured why not give it a shot. So um, I figured I'd play in my art journal. Um, this is mixed media paper, so you know, pretty much anything they sent me, I should be able to use with it. Um, so, let's get started. Uh, please excuse my terrible, terrible fingernails. I, uh, I have, they're, they're stained from a, a project that I was working on earlier. And, um, some of you may know I had a really bad burn on my hand. I'm still healing, still scarring, whatever. Um. I was frying yaki one night and uh, they decided they were going to start popping out and grease spilled all over my hand and it was a mess. So that's why I haven't really been working in my studio and getting much work done because it was all bandaged up and a mess. So my fingers are kind of back to normal now. Um, so I had to get my hands dirty and that's why my nails are stained and a mess. So anyways, back to the product review because that's what we're here for. Um, let's see see what all did they send me scissors look at these super cute ones the tattoo soft and they have like the 50s donut shop um, images on them so cute so cute let me crack that open I almost wish I didn't rip that girl in the background. That would have been an awesome image to use in some of my mixed media stuff. They feel nice. Can you hear? Nice sharp blade. Kids don't touch those. Don't do what I do. The grip is nice. It feels comfortable. Awesome. I'll be using those. I also got... The Color Peeps Gel, they're watercolor crayons. Um, now I use other water soluble crayons um, in other brands, and I thought, I'm gonna give these a shot. Why not? They have some really cool colors, um, and they're big. They're a decent size. Let's see if I can pop this open. Cute little carrying case. Ah. Let me use the scissors. There we go. Now they do say for ages, and of course I'm upside down, for ages three and up. Um, so I think I'm, I might be able to use these. <laughs> oh, it comes with a brush too. I didn't even know that. Let's see. Let's see how big these actually are. I don't want to roll it all the way up and then I won't be able to get it back down. It is a really, really good amount. It's still going. That's about what the barrel is, is, is what you're going to get worth of the water soluble crowns. Nice easy twist feature. They're not super waxy. Yeah, these are going to be fun to play with. So let me put this aside. I dig the case. I really do. I'm all about portability. Um, so that that's a big thing for me. These cool erasers. Um, they are, this is a retractable um, and it's latex free. And this one has a rotating cover. That's pretty cool. This one's latex free as well. Let's see. It's 
pretty easy. Maybe. Oh, see, I was doing it wrong to push on the button to, re to retract it. Nice. Cool colors. Let's see about the purple disc one. Oh, it feels nice. Look how cute. It's hidden. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Maybe it doesn't take much to excite me, but I like that. I like the finish on it. It feels really nice. I can't wait to try and use these and see how well they work. Let's see what else is in here. I got the method. These are the... Yeah, it's probably right in my face. Is that the name of them? The Ergo? No, these are the pens. They're Extra Glide. 0.4 mm millimeters. So let's see. Let's get some pictures here while we're at it for the for my blog. Let's see. These pens, they actually have stencils on the opposite end. It's a pen on this side. That's a decent size. Let's see, does it write? Oh my gosh, it writes on my skin. Awesome. Let's see how well it writes on paper then. But there's stencils on the opposite ends of the pens, which I thought was really cool. Let's see how well we can see these stencils. There's stars and paw prints and squares, sunglasses, um, candy wrappers, smiley face emojis or smiley faces, music notes, and they come in a variety of colors too, which is pretty neat. Um, so, wait, these, I, I knew there was something more. You can take, you can actually take the stencil off. Because I was just sitting here thinking, well, if I want to do a green, which is the color I have in my hand, if I want to do a green winky face, how am I going to do that? How am I going to get this end up there to trace that? And then I, I knew there was something else that was just this feature. Then I remembered they come off. They come apart. So then I can just use the tip and use the stencil. That is pretty awesome. Oh, now I can't get it back on. That was a little tricky. And these are... Mm, they're not geared towards anyone in particular. Under three, not suggested. Um, huh, that's pretty neat. All right, let's see what else is in here. And last but not least, they sent me the Graph and Peeps. Graph Peeps, I can't say that right. Um, they're a fine point marker. Um, and these are duos. There's 20 colors in one packet. Um, this whole top row and then this bottom row. So let's pick one. Purple, my favorite. And they come apart. That's pretty awesome. They come apart in the middle. Um, and then here we go with these triangles again. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm... There we go. Line it up, Janelle. All right. These are just like, I think they're like these. Let's see if they write the same. Why not use my hand as a testing grounds? Oh, that writes nice and smooth. That's pretty awesome. 
And again, like I said, there's, what's the wrong package? They're duo tips, so there's 20 in one package. And again, they come in a nice snap button case. Easy for transport. Throw them in your bag if you want to do art on the run. So let me clean up this mess and I'll get an art journal page out and we'll get to playing. All right. I thought I was organized, but I wasn't. We're all cleaned up. That's not going to happen. Anyone that knows me or watches my videos knows that my workstation is always chaotic. So, all right. I don't even know what to start with first. There's so much. All right. How about let's start with the scissors. The design alone is super cute. Um, and I am all about things that look cute or cool or, you know. So let's see. Let's see how well they cut. Nice, smooth cut, easy to use. Um, yeah, I'm digging that. They are actually going to go right in my scissor cup, and I'm going to use them all the time now. All right, um, let's check out the erasers. Let's see, let's see how they do. Uh, let's just do some doodles. And this is just a regular number two pencil, nothing fancy. This is the retractable one. Um, so it's a little bulky for me, but I guess if it was used by a kid or someone younger who, um, well, I don't know. Now that kind of fits nicely in my hand. Um, who has small hands and they need something bigger to hold on to that would work. It's not, it doesn't erase perfectly. Um, but I think it did all right. Let's see. It did okay. I mean, it's very, very, very faint. You can see the circles there. So, but something I would, I would definitely buy. Let's try the. The slide case one. I have a feeling that once like this is starting to wear down, I'm just going to play with this all the time. <laughs> this one's a little easier to hold. It feels a little more. It doesn't go all the way into the palm of my hand like this one did, but it's comfortable to hold. And definitely did the trick. Might be the same formula as the other eraser. Um, pretty much the same result. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much the same result. Not bad, though. These would make, like, cute stocking stuffers or um, back-to-school little gift baskets and stuff for kids. I think that would be neat. All right, um, let's go with these guys next. This is the fine tip, and I'm going to zoom in a little so it can see better how easily it writes. That's pretty nice. Yeah, don't skip, which is always a good thing. All right, let's try and use the stencils. I don't know if my hands are too big. Nope, yep, that didn't work. Try that again. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I like that you can use it for fine detail. Um, it does smear. 
So I wonder if it's water soluble. Hmm, let's see. Let's go with the graph peeps. The duo graph peeps. See if um see what these are like. They're fine point as well. Let's do brown and black. I know I already did black, but Definitely for getting in that fine detail and super small print, that works. And it doesn't bleed through, so that's a bonus. Same with the black. Let's see. No, nope, still not bled through, which is pretty good. Well, now let's just see what all the colors look like. Why not? That's definitely vibrant. I like that orange. Holy cow. Yeah, that yellow is bright too. Super bright. Nice and crisp. I like this pink. I like that pink a lot. Now let's see if they bleed together. Yeah. All right, let's try that again. Let's start with the black. Give it a quick dry with my heat tool. Yeah, they do bleed together. But it doesn't stay on the marker or on the pen, which is great. All right, where were we? Yellow, orange, pink to the other side. Nice, vibrant red. Nice, like lilac purple. Nice peach. So far, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with these. Oh, I like this one. Really impressed with these colors. So far, I think this dark pink is my favorite. Oh, I don't know. This blue is coming in second. Close, real close second. I like this one too. Who am I kidding? I'm really liking them all. This is a pretty one too. And I don't know that these are the actual names for the colors. I'm just making them up as I go, um, how I see them. This nice green would be nice for Christmas cards. 
and this one. All right. Oh, that's nice. I like that gray. That's really nice. Yeah, I can see myself using these quite a lot. Quite a lot, definitely. All right, so I think... I'm honestly, I'm super happy with the graph peeps, the duos, um, all of these colors. Uh, the only thing I wasn't too keen on was that they bled together. Um, so next time I use them, my page isn't gessoed or primered or anything like that. So next time I use them, I think um, I'm going to do, see if they write over top of a gessoed page um, and see if they write on top of anything that's textured. Um, a lot of my work is textured and not super flat surfaces. Um, but so far, I'm super happy. I really am. I mean, you can barely see this. I wrote over top of what we erased earlier, and the eraser did a really good job. Um, and I'm really, really digging. Look how vibrant these colors are. This is still my favorite, I think. I don't know. I like them all. I really do. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be using these quite often. Um, and I would suggest anyone who who needs a fine line pen, these are awesome. Now I want to see if these react to water at all. I have, okay, it's a beaker, but it's what I put my water, paint water in. I'm, let me zoom in. Let's see. Oh, they bleed. Something fierce. Yeah, definitely bleeds. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Being a mixed media artist, I I can kind of dig this. Um, yeah. Would I like for them to have been permanent? Sure. But... I, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig the bleed. Could almost give like a watercolor background um, to something that's not actually watercolors. All right. I'm going to dry this off with my heat tool and then I'm going to flip it around and we're going to work with the uh, color peeps gel watercolor crayons so it's all dried up kind of dig it it almost I don't think it was meant they were meant intentionally to be sopped with water but I I like it all right now on to the color peep gel color peeps gel watercolor crayons um I'm kind of excited about these. Now, I'm going to grab a stamp that I have sitting on my workstation, ugh, workstation and I'm going to use stays on. Um, it's a sol Sullivan ink um, that works great with water, so and it, it's not reactive. So I'm just going to put um, a stamp. I'm going to try and I'm going to do, you know, strips of all the colors and then see what it's like coloring over top of an inked image. Um, use my mouse pad here. Just to see if, if it reacts any differently. All right. Whoops, that wasn't any good. All right, um, let's start with the first one. Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, it goes on nice and smooth. Definitely nice and smooth. I'm going to try a couple. I'm going to try to see how they work um, rubbed out, and then I'm going to try and see what they're like with uh, water because, I mean, they're water for our crowns. So it feels nice. There's nice little grippies on it. Man, that really is smooth. And it, it doesn't feel super waxy, but kind of looks it. Not that that's a bad thing. There's definitely a lot of colors. Um, sometimes you buy products and you have to buy each individual color. And I know that's not always feasible for everyone. Uh, so it's nice that you can get a wide range of colors per package. And last but not least. All right, let's start with rubbing them. They don't really rub out so much. They do a little bit, but not, they don't smear um, quite as much as I thought they would. The way they glide on the paper, I thought for sure that, that they would be able to be rubbed out. And it's not, not doing much of anything there. All right. Time for what they were meant for. One to the water. All right. You can get a nice little water, uh, watercolor effect. However, it does, some of it does stay like you can see the line underneath. Um, has stayed adhered to the paper and it hasn't completely picked up and turned into an actual watercolor. The colors blend nicely though with each other. Maybe I waited too long. Set them on the paper and waited too long. Let's see what this does. If I use water on them right away. Now you still get, see, so you see the circle underneath. Um, you still get that, uh, yeah, you still get the, the tech, like it has stayed on there. Um, it's not really coming up. So it will leave an impression in the background. So let's try purple and let me see if I can wet the actual crayon and then paint with it like that. Not the greatest, but not bad. All right, I'm gonna try and put some on my craft mat and draw my craft mat and see, mix it with water down here, <clears throat> see what it gives me. It's kind of chunky doing it that way. Hmm. I don't hate it though. I don't. I I'm digging the different variations in um, tones you can get with it, like most water watercolor products. I think for a beginner starting out, um, even young kids or um, just someone who wants to have an extra set of watercolor crowns uh, in their, their arsenal of, of supplies, this would be a good start. I like, I do like how they blend together. I don't like that 
they leave the mark behind. Um, but they blend pretty nicely together. Yeah, that I do like. All right. So I think out of everything they sent me, um, I would probably have to go with, what's my favorite product out of everything they sent me? Most likely, um, the Graf Peeps Duo Fine Point Pens. Um, these are the watercolor crowns again, and I was, I had a little more hope for them. Um, I kind of like what I did with the, the stamped image. Um, maybe I'll have to do a little more playing around and see, yeah, you know, see what I can come up with. Um, creative ways to use them, I'm sure. Um, I'll definitely be using them again. Um, I'll try with different mediums, different, uh. I would definitely, definitely say these are my favorite by far. Uh, I really dig the vibrancy and colors and the fine tip. And I even like that they're not water soluble, that, that they bleed <clears throat> with water because I'm a mixed media artist. I use a lot of mediums on top of other mediums on top of other mediums. And this might be a pretty cool technique that, uh, <clears throat> that I could use with um, maybe some clear crackle or, oh, that would be fun to play with. <laughs> now I got ideas bouncing around. Uh, you can find all of these product, all of these products, sorry, that I showed today at uh, us.map.com. It's US map, mapped at my voice is not working today. Dot com. Um, they have all their products listed on their website. Uh, they have different activities that you can do with with um, with all their products, um, and they have a wide range. Anyway, I mean, I only got a, a few, a handful of things, and I was super grateful that they sent me what they did, and I was happy with pretty much everything they sent me. They have anything from erasers to uh, twisty um, rulers. They have pencil sharpeners, uh, highlighters. I'm going through their website now. They have so much, so much. Markers, jumbo markers for kids, finger paint, uh, staplers, staplers galore, um, pencil sharpeners. I think I might have said that already. Uh, let's see. All kinds of pens and pencils and there's just there's so much to choose from and I think I, I would think you know I definitely would go back uh, I would definitely um, once these I don't I don't know how long they're gonna last or you know when they'll they'll run out um, but I, I think for sure I would definitely order more of those. Um, so all in all, it was a pretty, pretty good set of, of items they sent me. And the scissors are just the cutest. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope the product review was, was pretty informative. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and I can answer them as best as possible. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything from this video. I just was going to do a product review for them. So, uh, again, if you have any questions or any comments, any suggestions on what you guys might think would be a better way to use any of the, the materials they sent me, please leave me a comment and, uh, I'll get back to you. I hope everyone has a great night and be sure to go over and check out their website. Take care. Bye.